Hello and welcome to Sunshine Focus, a program that highlights the major achievements of the Ondo State Governor, Arakunri Oluwa Rotimi Akeredolu SAN. I am Debbie Fumilayo. See you after this break. Glad to have you back. In the first half of this edition, we will give you updates of Ijoka A Division Road Dualization Project in the state capital, Akure. Already, demolition structures on this road corridor has been completed as Governor Oluwarotimi Akeredolu SAN promised to complete the project as soon as possible. Sit back and watch the reports. Road dualization is an integral part of urbanization. To this end, the Ondo State Government, led by Arakunri Uluwarotimi Akiredulu SAN, is leaving no stone unturned in changing the faces of towns and cities through his infrastructural revolution. Solid road networks and dual carriageways are being constructed across the three senatorial districts. While the proposed Ikare Township Road Dualization Project is on the way, the Phase 1 of our Township Dual Carriage Road Project covering the Emure and Yire ends of the ancient town is about to be completed. While these efforts at the Northern Senatorial District are already giving the residents and commuters reason to rejoice, the Akere led government at the same time has also taken the road revolution to Central Senatorial District. This time around is the state capital, Akure. The government has begun the construction of a dual carriageway from the popular A division end through Nepa all the way down to Ijoka. All obstructing structures along the route have been removed after compensations running into millions of naira have been paid to affected property owners. Actually, Mr. Governor flagged off this road during his, his first year anniversary in office. But uh, this is a dualized road and it's a busy area. So there are so many things that needs to be put into consideration. For an instance, if it were to be just internal road like an estate road, community roads, there's no need for compensation. So the existing alignment will be used. But this one is a dualization road in, in a busy area. And you can consider the, 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 stretch, length, the stretch of the road is very massive. So the properties owners, the adjoining, the adjoining properties that uh, falls within the corridor, there are procedures in acquiring such properties. Number one, before you can, we do the acquisition, and after the acquisition, you get government approval, enter gazettes. After gazettes, we publish, we zap acquisition notice, we do valuation, we do verification, because the verification, you have to establish the actual properties owners. So that one will involve the Minister of Justice. So they get they take clearance. That's what we just completed now. And government now has already made available the the compensations due for the each climate. So with that now you can see now the demolition exercise is in progress. And we have some government properties around the corridor. So we cannot leave them open. So all the fences have to put in place. This is the high court. We have veterinary, we have treasury office there. So everything now has been considered 
taken care of, that's when we can start now. Right now, we are at uh, a division to Obashupa. It's a major project because starting from this A division of Ashupa to Uluka the roundabout, from there to Uluatu, Uluatu to Ijoka Road. That one, that section of the road is given to a contractor. Then the another one, the second section of it, is one from Ijoka to Ijore. And that contractor too is working on it. So this section here is dry, is dry carriageway. And as you can see now, work has started in earnest. It was flagged off during the first year of, the, of this administration, but we can't just move in. There are certain things that needed to be done before contractor move fully move to the site. No, this road is uh, just like this road is very important in Akure. It's very good. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a very good, good route for road users. So I believe it will add. It's, it's fat. It's very, it's a very good development for us. Actually, it's a welcome development and um, it's actually going to boost the road and um, make more motors to, and cars to pass, which will make people inside the car to see what we sell. As a, it's actually a welcome development. I want to thank the state government for everything. But Mugbokwe government if she on 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 Fuwa, the city government if she on Fuwa, Timo to ban law to ban bo, to ban the she be the same way, she agbat agbat inside the door. Ade Mary Ojata, only show what go Mary she, only show what Mary Eri Oja. Ade Mary Ojata, we ni ama law we ama bo. Ele be bon she pabiti to on wa inside the building. When you are my wife's side, but on about free to everybody, do bush a fair at the bush a year. I thank God for giving me life to witness such a thing because, as I told you, I was I have been here for 30 years now. And this was uh, one lane that I now believe is going to be double lane now. So we thank God and we even thank the governor who gov uh, God gave the opportunity to be the one that want to drive this road for two lanes. And I believe after the realization, uh, I know that things will go to change positive for us with the traders here. That in this line, we know that things are going to change in another dimension, another new way. And I believe God will help us to make the business to boost more and more. You know, when they finish it and they have, the, uh, I think, uh, street light, that shows sometimes we are closing here around 6.30. But I know we can stay here like 8, 9. So that will make the business to boom. this uh, place you know that it's just one single 
dual, you know, uh, it's a single carriageway road. And the government of uh, Arakuni you know, wants to dualize it. Dualizing it meaning that, you know, they want it to be, you know, two carriageways, you know, side by side. And uh, our company, Rayog Consultants, you know, we are giving the, the, the contract to carry out engineering design of this place. So we came to this place, I think about six months ago, to take the you know, levels we did, the normal survey, you know, topographical survey from here. We call this one uh, Adeshida Road, about Supa, Lua, Tuyi, Joka, you know, it's about eight kilometers. And this is just the beginning of the, you know, of the construction works. There is additional something that we have introduced in our design here, which you may not see in most of uh, other, you know, uh, existing designs or roads. And that is what we call facilities bay. The facility bay of about three meters. You know, because usually by the time they complete, they finish con when the construction of a road newly like this, within I mean, two months after that, you see uh, water corporation people coming to cut the road. Or oh, you see all these uh, telephone people coming to cut the same road. When you ask them, they tell you, you know, that they want to install their own cables. So we have provided a facility bay of three meters for whichever, you know, the, the, the three meters is now divided into three. The first one that is, that is very close adjacent to the road is for the uh, telecommunication. Telecommunication cables. Then the one at the center is to carry the electric, uh, you know, coal, I mean, the, the coal. And the, then the, the last one that is adjacent to the buildings are the water mains. When flagging off road, it takes a lot of things. First, the design and everything. First, it was designed, but we have to go back to lab to see how we can manage it. We want to have a straight road, unlike before that. We have to leave the curve and everything, but now, at least one kilometer radius. We have to be seeing the traffic coming one, one kilometer radius. That has been done. That takes us a lot of time. Then to look at the, the number of houses that will be affected. We have to do verification, we have to do enumeration, we have to do valuation. It takes a lot of time. Now we are ready. People can see we are ready. We started two, three weeks ago. You can see that the first thing we did was to demolish government property, which is the high court, the veterinary uh, hospital and the primary edge, which has been done. But now, the last week, we have to do the shanties the attachment to the house because we've been on here for the past three four weeks telling people that we want to but they don't believe until sunday when we're moving now everybody is aware that government is serious that the government is serious when they give a promise we fulfill it and this is part of fulfillment of of, uh, of his promise and we are showing the people of on those state particularly the people of Akure, that this section by the grace of god we completed by february For a government that has plans to improve a road network across the state and has embarked on lifetime projects within a short period of time, it is already evident that the Akiti's infrastructural revolution is not a mere sloganeering but a well thought out agenda of a transformational leader. Dakbo Arua Dre for Sunshine Focus. Welcome back, and good to know that you're still with us. We told you in the last report that some properties were removed for the Ijoka A Division road dualization to be a success. However, the state government, under the leadership of Governor Akere Dolu, has already compensated affected landowners by the ongoing work and other road projects across the state. Checks were presented to them by Arakuni Akere Dolu, at the Ministry of Works in Akure.
excitement pervaded the air and shared joy was palpable on the faces of owners of properties that gave way to the construction of dual carriageways at a division all the way to Ijoka Road in Akure, the state capital, the Ikare Township Roads, Emure to Iyere Road in our local government area, and the Ore Flyover Project in Odigbo local government area of Ondo State. They were present at this occasion to receive checks of different amounts from the Ondo State Governor Arakonri Oluwarotimi Akiridulu SAN, which serves as compensation for their losses owing to the various road projects across the three senatorial districts. About 500 million naira was paid to the beneficiaries as a demonstration of the commitment of Governor Akiridulu's administration to the development of the state and her people. While presenting the checks, Arakuni Akiridulu pleaded with the property owners to bear with the government on the damages caused as a result of the various infrastructural developments. As he explained to them, that every property owner whose building were affected will be duly compensated. The governor used the opportunity to also disclose that the government since inception has expended 9 billion naira on the road projects in all the nooks and crannies of the state. Based on this administration, we have spent close to 9 billion naira on road construction. The elated beneficiaries have these to say. I thank our governor, our governor. I, he did well. And God bless him. I put him on that work to process again.
Governor has been saying he has been doing it, and this is one of his uh, doing. He has promised the people of this state that he won't inconvenience them, even if he construct any road. And this is part of what we have been doing. We've been telling our people that we won't touch your property without paying compensation, no matter how small the compensation might be. And this is what we are doing today. As we are paying now, we will give them one or two weeks to move out, and the contractor will move. The governor has said it. We cannot even explain it, but God is doing it. We have been prudent. The governor has been prudent. The governor has been prudent. Whatever we have, we try to manage it and we prioritize it. And this is part of the priority of the government. Infrastructure development is one of the cardinal points of the governor. And he has promised that he will do everything within his power to make sure that he fulfill that promise. And this is part, this is a starting point. Because this is the phase in what we want to pay. This is the first phase. In another two, three weeks, we are going to have another phase so that people will know that the government is serious about the organization. The, the total money we are going to pay for compensation is between 1.1 1 .1 billion to 1.5 billion. And we are starting with like 500 million now. So the next phase is going to be around 500 million also. So we are, we are we need a phase. That's why positive of money. That is why we have to face it. earlier, which I've been saying, we have a governor that doesn't say whatever he's not ready to do. I'll use this medium to advise and appeal to our people. Whatever you hear from our governor, just you can go to the bed with his or her statement. He has said it, all the construction that are going on within the state, all the properties that were affected, the, the rightful owner will be duly compensated and they will be paid. The first one is what we are witnessing now. All those people that have undergone this clearance stage and uh, they've submitted all the normal requirements. Mark you, we are not bothered about whether you have CO4 or whether you don't have CO4. Once we can ascertain that the property belongs to you, you must get your, your, normal, uh, your normal claim, which is the compensation. That is part of what we are seeing now. Everybody that are here that have been cleared will get their shares today. Part of them have been demonstrated by Mr. Governor. And you can see them, all of them, they are happy. God, they are not sure changed. I heard Mr. Governor's speech the other time. He said it's God. And it's the government that is so prudent with whatever she's doing. So anything that we cannot do, we won't say it. That's why we are doing the faces. And uh, everybody, we must get your compensation before your properties are demolished. Those people that we are ready to demolish their properties now, those are those people we are paying their checks now. And you can see all of them are happy. We thank God, it's God that has been doing it. It's beyond our imagination. We thank God. Even as the affected property owners depart this venue smiling for the Arakuni Olua Rotimi Akeridolo's administration, it is another promise fulfilled. These dual carriageway projects will indeed contribute immensely to the social and economic development 
of the Sunshine State. So that's all we can take on this edition of Sunshine Focus. I remain Debbie Fumilayo. See you again next week and bye. Thank you.